All right, we are fucking live, Brody. What's up? My man, Irv Ackerman. What's good, Brody? Chilling, man. It's been a minute. It's been too long. It's been a minute. It's been so long, man. And uh, I feel like we've kind of missed the train on some things. <laughs> it's like I've been so fucking busy. All of us have been so busy that it's uh, it's been tough yeah. to um, really get situated and find time to fucking hang out, bro. It's like fucking three years. It's been no, forever. Six months worth of activity in the world. Yo, it really is. This this news cycle is just bananas. It's like new shit every single day. I can't even keep up, bro. I'm like, you'd have to be like a full-time researcher all day. All day. All day. You know, and then it's like, what's true, what's not, what's fabricated, what's fucking mainstream bullshit, you know? Um but shit, shit's been going crazy, bro. We've got the Diddy shit. We've got the the eclipse coming up tomorrow. We got the fucking Devil's Comet happening. We got solar alignments. <laughs> All the planets align too. That's yeah. crazy. Well, that's what I mean. Is is like what the fuck is? It? And, and you know, it's bound to happen every so often. But what was it like? Seventy five years? No, wait, was it twenty years? Since the last, since the last up, up this way, yeah. the last eclipse, yeah. right? Yeah, and then fifty-five years for yeah. us in New York again to the next time. And it, yo, Haley's comet just passed too, right? Like a couple of years back. I think a few years back. Yeah, there's been a lot of comets coming. Yeah. through. Yeah. Listen, man, this shit's getting active out yeah. there. Or as you like to say, weird. <laughs> no, for real, it, it really is though. Is it's like I don't. Know. Again, for us, we're humans. We don't know exactly what the fuck is going on out there but at the same time we when we look at it it's like oh yeah nasa allegedly has you know a bead on all of the uh on all of the uh comments that may potentially strike us you know do they really yeah who knows probably yeah, not yeah i was um yeah last night it was just like oh the ultimate curveball fbi issues a report um imminent terrorist attack for what for America. Shut up. For the, oh, the for Iran the, For the U.S. in the next 48 hours. It was like the same one they gave out before the Russia Opera House shooting. And they just dropped that yesterday. Like, oh, yeah. So when you're all gathered, keep that in mind. Yeah. I mean, it. it with the crisis at the border, too, it makes it even scarier. Because, I forgot about the border. Bro. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's just been overlapping all of this shit. It, it really... Again, it, they try to bury it, you know, and especially in politics. It's like the right, the left's doing this, so the right wants to expose them, and they want to cover it up, and then it's vice versa both ways. And it's like what you just said is, is be prepared for an attack. We're letting f- tens of thousands of people come in undocumented, and um, we don't know who they are. I have no idea. We don't know if they're terrorists. We don't know. I'm sure there's the regular... Yeah, women, family, you know, they're trying to get over here for a better life, but we also have a lot of people taking advantage of it. Oh, yeah, all day. Yeah, they had that guy from Hamas just cross the border. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm from Hamas. Wow. <laughs> they let him in, too. He was just like, yeah. Just so brazen. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, what? I'm here to fuck shit up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, man. I'm here to make it happen. What do you think? You think they... they s- they selling us out, bro? Or are they just trying to destroy us from within? Like, they got to live here too, bro. It's- so I wish I had more information on the uh, the guy's name, but there was a dude. And Rogan brings it up on his pat podcast all the time, but it's like there was this guy, and there was a video. I'll send it to you later. Of a dude, he was a Russian. I want to say an ex KGB agent or something of that nature. He was in the Russian government, like ogliarchy and shit. But basically what he said was was that Russia and China would rather have us in like eat ourselves from the inside out. So like we don't have to do all the propaganda bullshit. What we're going to do is is we're going to get into the colleges and we're going to teach the Marxist ideas and we're going to, you know, all of these, uh, you know, we're fighting about gender, yeah. you know, while we're yeah. fighting about gender and shit like that, they're easing up our back door type shit, you know. Mm-hmm. Um. And it was a plan. It was like a 25, 50 year plan. And infiltrate the colleges. Yeah, yeah. yeah. infiltrate. Well, yeah. because you're sending them all out into the, the, this is the next generation. Yeah. You know, so after so many years, you have, and, and to be honest, in my personal opinion, um, a lot of these kids have been radicalized. Yeah. Like w- whichever way, call it the right, call yeah. it the left. 
they're both radicalized. So there's really no meeting in the middle anymore. No, you know, at all. Um, but they, they did that with intention. They said, no, let's, we have a plan. We're going to infiltrate this, infiltrate that. And then what we'll do is, is, is we'll just wait. We'll just sit back and wait. Just wait. Just let it roll. Fuck it. Yeah, man. It's, it's fucked up out here. It really is. Yeah. Well, did you see the shit? The Al Shafa hospital incident just a couple no, days ago. No. Israel bombed a hospital, bro. Recently, yeah, too, last a couple few days, days ago. A couple days. It might even have been yesterday, they, day before. They say Hamas was in there. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Hamas is everywhere. I didn't get a chance to really dive into it, but essentially, yeah, they bombed a hospital, killed mad fucking aid workers, killed. They've killed humanitarian aid workers. They've killed. I saw they innocent. bombed the truck. Yeah, you saw that? Yeah, they knew who was in it, too. They knew like, the shit. Human- oh, these guys are humanitarians. Yeah, boom. Oh, you're going to help the Palestinians? Yeah. Oh, okay. Done. And 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 it, it drives me bananas with this whole situation because it's like, those are blatant war crimes, you know? And I think it was about a month ago, South Africa might have been the country that, that filed uh, war crimes at The Hague yes. against Israel. yeah. yeah abide by international law they don't recognize it you know no. and um refuse to sign any treaty stating that they would be a part of it <laughs> no nah, we don't care you know which just sends a bad message to the rest of the world the countries that are coming up like oh that we're not worrying about international law yeah let's go no no way yeah well there's been countless examples like because when i saw that they had brought the charges up it, it, i had to get refreshed on the hague yeah. you know and i was like all right it's the international criminal court but nothing's happened since the Nazis. I can't believe it, man. Like, they haven't done shit since, like, yeah, they'll say to a country, like, yeah, yeah. you fucked up, you know what I mean, blah, 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 blah. There's no actual repercussion to it. I mean, Biden's getting heat now for it, but um, he's still rolling tough with him. <sighs> it, it, it really, it's weird, because he did, <laughs> in in one breath, he says... Oh no, Israel! That's so bad that you just killed the humanitarian workers. You killed, uh, you blew up a hospital. <laughs> yeah, like, Israel's like you guys do that shit all the time. Yeah, I mean we do it. Yeah, which is you know what I mean. Weddings. Yeah, you know birthday parties. Yeah. you know what? Right where the terrorists are, bro. That's what it's like, man. And then we talk about this shit, like yo, this is foul, and then you're anti-American. It's like. <laughs> It's like, nah, I don't believe in that shit, nor do I support it. Well, it's so ingrained in us that it's like, if you, it's like, I don't know, it's like cheating on your barber in a sense. It's like, it's so ingrained in us that it's like, no, we have to be patriotic. We have to be, you know, and you can be patriotic and hate your fucking government. That's true. You know, you can love the country, hate the people running it, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like, I've said this for years. It's that division. It's that division. When we start chopping up borders and we start saying, oh, okay, well, we're in New York. You're in Massachusetts. You're mass holes, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You, you know, so what ends up happening is, is you create that division. And it's either way. It doesn't matter whether you're on the left, the right. You're across the border. It's a football team, a baseball team. Like, there's yeah. division sewed in us you know and to me i like i love american history Mm -hmm. i love history but how much of that shit is fake how much of it is the truth how much of it is actual accurate you know yes history is written by written by the winners by the winners i know i know it's just been like my whole life outside of school bro just like damn what did i learn in school that was factual yeah like history wise and shit like that and it's just like we just don't get what we need but I think people are waking up like platforms like this um other platforms X is more of the story more of the real story yeah and I think that's critical for the time we're in it, it really is you're right a lot of more people are waking up to the bullshit we're not necessarily blind to it anymore this is the age of information yeah. you know it's yeah. and every tom dick or harry can go out and make 
investigative journalism into That's content, true. Yeah. you know? Um, it's, it's even still, man, it's like, we're so controlled by it. <laughs> <laughs> we are, we yeah. are, man. It's, it's tough. Like TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, all that shit. But that, again, it's designed for that. It's designed to keep you in that. And keep you in that loop, that constant loop. Running, yeah. running. Yeah. yeah. But that's, but again, now we have a little taste of real information. COVID taught us a lot about the media and about the government. Like when you're willing to take away doctors licenses and and their whole careers and everything they've worked for their published works like everything and you were wrong the whole time <laughs> like nobody yeah. pays for it no that's, that's, nobody pays for it nah, bro. where's Fauci it should be people getting rounded up non-stop and like a lot of the doctors bro I'm like looking at the credentials during COVID and they were like I'm like, yo, this dude's on point. There's no yeah. way. He knows his shit. Like, he's top notch. And they're like pulling pulling their licenses, taking yeah. them off YouTube, like yeah. banning Twitter accounts, Facebook. Yeah. The guy that was res- like, I think he was a like co responsible for the RNA vaccine or whatever it is, the RNA gene yeah. therapy, you know? <laughs> and uh, he came out and said it. He was like, look, this is not for. This is gene therapy. This isn't, this isn't like you're changing genes now. You're not, this isn't a vaccine, you know, when you're going and attaching to whatever, you know, yeah. it's a, uh, but they threatened to take his whole life away if he kept, kept fucking talking about it, yeah. you know? So yeah. now what happens is you got a bunch of guys that are tenured somewhere or at Harvard or Yale and they can't lose that. So what do you do? Shut the mouth. You fall in line. Yeah, shut it up. Shut it up. Yeah. But they were, they were right. They were right. Oh, they were definitely right. <clears throat> but anybody that wants, like, trusts the government after something like that, you're fucking, yeah. something's wrong. You're, you're, just, you're just not there. You're just not there. Really, if you aren't getting the information, the real information now, you're just choosing not to get it. Right. There's no reason you should be. It's plugged. laziness. Should, yeah, it's laziness. Yeah. Like, put the game down, put whatever you're doing down, and plug in for a minute and uh, find out what's really going on out here. Yeah. I mean, I mean the shit's, shit's critical, man. Like, well, the more we know, the more we can prepare for. Yeah. You know, and when, when we really look at it and we say, yo, um, our forefathers even if the story is fabricated a bunch, um, fought for a constitution, you know? And if we're limited information, the government's just doing whatever the fuck they want behind closed doors. Fuck it, you know? Yeah. Um, and we, and it's, it's such a, it's such a weird system too, because it's when you, when you look at it, it's like, oh, well, you don't like the people in office, go vote. I hear you. These fucking ticks that are so embedded in Washington, you know, that what do you do? It's the same cesspool and cesspool it's the and same, man. It's the same shit. You know, it's that play to uh, pay to play shit. You can't. It's all money, bro. You figure BlackRock, Vanguard own everything. They're the top shareholder in every industry, everything. every company, news outlets, military companies, like how do you, how do you actually defeat that? Like that's what you're battling against: instant money, unlimited money. Yeah, All right. Un- unlimited money. So it's like, I don't know. I really feel like this could be like our last election, like normal style election with the country as a whole. Yeah, that's how. That's how I'm seeing it. Yeah. Like if we these well, people stay in, it's gonna be problems. Oh yeah, definitely. And and not only that, but with like a black rock that's trillions and trillions and trillions and tr- you can't even put a number on what they're worth. The defense contracts, it's a war machine. Yeah. It's a it it you can expect more war. That's what you can expect, you know, or more presidents that are about war, you know, yeah. these more candidates. 
I just saw that BlackRock uh, was holding like something crazy in Bitcoin. Like, um, what was it? Something like, uh, I, I don't know if it was their shit because didn't they just come out with one? Yeah, they had an ETF and they're dropping billions a day. Yeah? Billions a day. Get in. They're getting in. Well, it's their customers. Sure. So the customers are putting money in. They're acting as the buyer. They buy it. But, um, yeah, every week between, like, all the investment joints, like, $5 billion a week in Bitcoin, just snatching it. It's wild. But they also know the U.S. dollar's toast. You got to look yeah. at it that way. Like, yeah. all of these guys are like, oh, it's a scam. It's internet money. And mm-hmm. now they're dropping billions every day. Well, yeah, because they were going to. They were going to try to prop their system up as much as they could. And now that they block a countries that just fucking, uh, I know it was South America, Saudi Arabia, Russia, Russia China. China. It was like uh, the block nations. Yeah, yeah. You know, and um, they, uh, they basically agreed to get rid of the U.S. dollar and start their own, start, start their own currency. Why not? Why you not? know? Um, we usually go to war for that when people try to do that, but I guess there's too many of them. Ah, we did it with Libya. Yeah, there's too many of them now. Yeah. Well, but, and, and you, you got to look at the nations now. So, like, back then, again, it was like Libya. Gaddafi was yeah. like, yeah, I'm going to create our own system, you know, our own monetary system. And then next thing you know, we're in Libya, you know. Um, but these are superpowers now. Yeah. You know, yeah. this isn't some small African country. Uh-huh. This is... We have nukes, too, bro. I mean, we got and nukes. Like, yeah, we got nukes. Bro, the, that's the scariest part about the power that's shifting throughout the world. Yeah. Like, you could just feel it. Like, we're falling off that fucking top dog. We are. <laughs> you, 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 know? you can tell, like, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I can Get, tell. Getting, getting flabby and shit. You yeah. Still, Right hook don't sting as much no more. Yeah, it's um that's the world we gotta prepare though. That's why most Americans are like this shit will never happen. Yeah, will never fall off. Baby, bro, and we're seeing it. You know, like people who are plugged in are like, yo, this shit, this shit's coming to pass, man. Yeah, it's not, it's not a game. And and really, when it comes down to it, you know, like oh what we just have a cool military. You know, like, what what are we doing so big in, you know, the economies of the world, per se? Export. Are we doing? Are we exporting? Any, I think probably wheat or something like that, you <laughs> yeah. know, but. Yeah, not we, much. Though. Not much, not bro. Not much anymore. We import. We're importing everything. Yeah, we're, we're straight importers now. Yeah, and then not only that, but then it's like you want to make a fucking big deal out of TikTok now. You know, like, oh, my God, it's, you know, it's the data and it's ruining our kids and, you know, it's set up and yeah, of course it is. But you didn't care when it was, you know, like until you got, you got a problem with China again. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> they're trying to leverage, like they're trying to leverage any, when you, when you're trying to leverage TikTok against China, bro. It's not even. Yeah. You, you look like a child. Like <laughs> their all their servers are in the U.S. Like we already changed that. Yeah. So, so, so you can't even say like, oh, it's in China. So the whole thing, I'm like, I didn't understand it. I'm like, this is all bullshit because you guys already moved the servers here. Right. TikTok's like, I got you. We'll, what? we'll hook it I think up. It's like Oracle or some shit that are at one of the big tech companies are housing the server. I'm like, come on. Yeah, yeah. I just, I'm just sick of the, like, the bullshit like that. Like, that's just nonsense. Like, there's so much more shit that's serious. And then, like, yeah, there's world hunger, there's about the fucking TikTok. homeless population. Yeah, like, our real. cities are shit. Yeah. Like, people sleeping on the streets, rats, like, garbage, like, San Francisco, trash, Cali, trash. Clean like, it up for fucking the president of China, though. Yeah, yeah get these homeless people out of here, you know? How crazy is that shit? It's, like, they just, you know, it's, you can clean it up for Xi Jinping. In a couple of days, too, <laughs> yeah. A couple you of know? days. Yeah, a couple of days, bro, a couple of hours. Yeah, clean it up, round up the homeless people, which is foul as fuck. It's just like, 
Yeah, so I'm just like, I want to unplug from this shit, bro. I don't know. I'll be, I've been thinking, like, what the hell to do, man? Like, I want to do something. Like, As, like, like what? Like, it sucks because we, we could start a revolution, but <laughs> we're going we're gonna to be, we're gonna be considered, considered domestic terrorists and fucking thrown in a fucking hole. Instantly. Instantly. I mean, yeah, with, um, <laughs> it's like start it and then, then they bring, break the robots out on us. <laughs> oh, dude, it'd be insane. It'd be wild. Well, that's a whole nother thing. Uh, with the AI shit is is like who the fuck is just letting these people run loose with this shit you know it's like ah fuck it do what you do just let them go man no no control there's no you know um no regulation nothing, just bro. fuck it <laughs> just nothing let's worry about TikTok no it's it's no oh bro listen I gotta check it yeah you gotta check it out bro it's it's basically uh, in a nutshell, it's about two people, right? And there's one like that's a military cat, and the other chick's a prostitute, right? And there, it's a hilarious movie. It's a funny movie. Yeah. But anyways, and they sign up for a program with the military, and they say, "All right, we're gonna go to sleep for a year, you know." And uh, you, when you wake back up, it's just a part of the military program. They do the tests, blah blah blah. blah. Well, the program gets shut down while they're in cryo. And they go like fucking a thousand years into the future. <laughs> right? Yeah. And the world got dumber. So like now it's like these motherfuckers don't know how to talk. They don't they're like they're they're fucking like for example, like their president's fucking um Terry <laughs> Cruz, bro, and he's like fucking it, like it's just insane. It's just acting a fool. They yeah. Acting a fool, bro. <laughs> and uh but it it really just goes to show how we're getting we're not fucking I'm sure in some fields yeah. we're getting smarter, but in a general sense, society has gotten fucking crazy. Like it's yeah. gotten dumber, you know, a lot dumber. And that's kind of how that movie goes, but it's hilarious. I gotta right? check that. That sounds cool. You gotta check it out. It's funny. They probably woke up like, "What the fuck?" Oh yeah, dude. It was <laughs> every one year. <laughs> everything was different, you know, and. uh there's a, there's a bunch of stars in it too. I um, what the fuck is her name? Uh, she's what she was on SNL and shit. Um, can't even remember, dude. But you check it out. I'll check that. Idiocracy. Out. Idiocracy. And uh, yeah, the world's just getting stupider. Stupider and stupider. And it's 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 beyond me because it's like you would think. I think social media plays a lot into that. Like social media, kind of. I don't know. Our youth kind of took a. Fucking dive yeah. hard left to like OnlyFans and creator shit than to engineers, architects, fucking, yeah. you know. Um, but we'll get through it. Well, <laughs> it. It's working too because the system's so fucked. Like your diploma's worth shit now. Yeah, what can you do with so that thing? You got hella student debt. Uh, one bedroom apartments, 1400 That's in our market, like yeah. New York City. 22, 2,500 for a one bedroom. Yeah. Um, can't buy a house. Cars crazy. Insurance crazy. Food crazy. Like, so why would the kids? And plus, the kids watching the adults fuck up all the time. Yeah. So they're like, fuck that. I'm not yeah. listening to you. What kind of an example? Yeah. Do you, have no, you know, I come across kids all the time. Like, no respect. Like you know, zero. Who, like, who the fuck are you talking to? <laughs> You're yeah. a kid, bro. Like, whether I know you or not, like, show some respect. But eventually, those people will be adults. And then, <laughs> That's the... That. And then <laughs> we're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, and it's tough because what do you do these days? You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm assuming you came up getting your ass kicked like I did yeah. by parents, you know? Or it didn't even matter. It could be the fucking neighborhood. Neighbor, anybody. It, it, yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you're fucking up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to kick your ass, yeah. and then I'm going to send you home to your mom to kick your ass. Yeah. You know? And, uh, but nowadays, it's like, it's a lot different. I'm not condoning child abuse. Yeah. But at the same time, there has to be a discipline. Like, the taking the phones away, taking the, they don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Mm -mm. My no. kid, my kid literally waits. Just, 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 he's like on the countdown, like. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe two days tops. And I'll get it back. 
Uh, we'll borrow their homie's laptop. Like, oh, I'm good. <laughs> no, bro, you take the fucking phone away, and the next thing you know, they're on the laptop. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yo, I'm going to need that too, bro. I need the laptop. <laughs> a tablet. I think I lost my joint. Any, any of that, man. I yeah. need that shit. And they just... It, it's there's so many different things. Oh, okay. Well, now you don't have the phone. You don't have the laptop. Oh, I got the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's, it's the breakdown, man. Yeah. What but was I gonna say? some shit. Not the eclipse. We got that shit coming. Um, what are you gonna do tomorrow for that? Well, I'm tell you, I'm gonna be working, so I'm actually gonna have a front row seat on a roof. Nice. Yeah. I got some of the cool glasses to watch it with and got them for the guys that'll be there and we're going to take a few, you know, and it's funny too, because the homeowner asked us, she's like, uh, yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind you guys working. Um, is there any way you guys can just take like an hour off for the eclipse? (laughs) And I was like, yeah, hell yeah. yeah." Absolutely. We want to see that shit too. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, it's a big deal. You know, um, we, we don't know. What's the next one? I think the next one will be in 2042 or something like that. 44. Um, so you never know. You got to see these kinds of things. Got to gotta get out there. I'm excited. It's going to be dope. I'm super excited, man. It's, but there's And like I said, we were talking about before we started, was there's just a lot of astrological alignments. There's the, the comet with the devil's horns, um, which will allegedly be visible during the eclipse. That's going to be insane. I want to see that. NASA is fucking shooting off rockets into the fucking eclipse. Like, um, see what's up with it. What's going on? Yeah, I forgot the exact. Oh, CERN starting up. You're right. CERN is, is going to. What, what, what a fucking coincidence. Why, bro? <laughs> NASA's shooting off fucking rockets into the moon. And CERN is starting the Large Hadron Collider again. Yeah, they're, same night. They're ramping it up crazy. They just um, like during the eclipse, bro. During the eclipse, it's not yeah. even like it's ah, oh, you know what? We're gonna start it Monday, no. Monday morning. Yeah, no, it's we're we're fucking. I'm sure they're gearing up right now over at CERN. And I just read last week they found a ghost, a ghost particle, right? Yeah, yeah. They said that there's like been a a force that they can't detect. Yeah, and then they found it. Yeah, yeah, which is which was like crazy like ghosts i know they try to bring shit through the portals and whatnot but i'm like the homie Listen, come through and he's CERN just is, like bro he, cern is one of the most interesting things ever because you're literally creating tiny universes in a fucking 22 mile long tube you know and you're spinning these things at fucking light speed or faster and just, and just smashing them into each other yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah like, nah, that's um, yeah, man. Like they was doing some, um, you see some of their devil worshiping ceremonies that they have there. They got Sheba outside. She, they got Sheba outside. Sheba outside coming through the portal. Um, I think a lot of that is part of the study, bro. If you're talking other dimensions, um, the UFO issue, and you know. Um, there's a theory that, that CERN, when they fired it up the last time, split us off into an alternate dimension, <laughs> like just adjacent, you know, yeah. like, like kind of destroyed ours. It happened so fast where, but we're it, like, we the couldn't even tell skipped almost. Like, we couldn't even tell right off onto a new branch and think about it. Like it's, it, I know it's far fetched, but like. We had Trump, Donald fucking Trump, as a president of the United States. You know, the guy, you fly it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. it's almost comedic in a comedic. sense. It it's is. like, well, wait, how do, how do we go from like a fucking JFK way back when to yeah. a fucking this guy or Dude, Hillary Clinton? Grab him by the pussy. <laughs> right. Like, yeah. Do coke with chicks. Yeah, chicks, dude. That's like, what I mean. Like, party, do coke. Like, yeah. Just like, nah, he's our guy. He's our and, guy. And the most freaking sane one out of Washington. Out of Washington. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like, you can't make this shit up. But bro. that's why it's weird. <laughs> because it's like, okay, well, 
all right, this doesn't feel like reality. Like, this doesn't feel like this is real right now. That's that's how I feel, bro. I feel like it's almost like a, um, it's like the Matrix. Like it's a Netflix series. It just the reality's off. Yeah, everything just feels like like that might not be real. Yeah, like are we in this simulation? Because this is getting really weird now. Well, right, <laughs> and that's that's the crazy part about it is it's like you almost feel like there's an audience, right, watching. Like all the time, like oh, it's about to get the oh, fucking. Shit, this shit's about to go down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, like you're about to get the fucking applause. And... Yeah, man, I'm starting to. It's just everything's just the way it's happening so fast too. It's just like damn, and know. and people are getting weirder, weirder. You know, bro. we're not getting closer together. No. We're getting so much farther apart, and um, it's it's weird times, man. It's, it's scary times yeah. because especially, you know, with all the, the warmongering and now yeah. the talk of nuclear weapons and it's, it's like these, like you're human beings, bro. We can't fucking talk this shit out, you know, like <laughs> the end of the day, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, Putin and fucking Biden can't fire up a fucking joint, bro. No, and be like, even talk, bro. like, what's well, up, dude? Putin would talk to him. I didn't want to talk to him. No, Biden won't talk to him. He's weak, bro. He never do nothing in his life. I it's... think, I don't think, I don't think it's a matter of that he's weak. I think he is weak. Don't get it fucked yeah. up. And and he is um, in dotage. Like he's, you know, he is too old. But <laughs> he's, yeah, one step from the nurse. No. His handlers, and, and we can't really run this narrative that he's gonna fucking launch ballistic missiles yeah. every day, like. You know, there's a certain solidarity there that's they like... Gotta, they got to keep going, yeah. They got to keep it. Got to keep it moving, man. And it, it, fear. Fear, distress. That's that's what unites Americans. It's like, oh, fuck them. Which is crazy, too, because I was... Um, what's a David Grush, right? Yeah. So, like, he was talking about the non-human intelligence feeding off our fear, our anger... Anxiety. Anxiety, which would make sense, which I've been sure. like thinking, like, right now, they're eating. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's wild. It's wild you bring that up because <sighs> Grush did say that, but for years and years and years, uh, some of the deepest people in conspiracy theories have always thought that there was a group of extraterrestrials, the reptilians, that shape shift and all that bullshit, but they feed off of the despair. Like when we're vibing low, they're vibing high. You Definitely. know what I mean? When we're vibing high, yeah. it's hurting them. You know what I mean? But it's constant. It's a fear cycle. It's constant. Yeah. You know, it's if it's not a school shooter, it's a fucking uh, the war. It's Russia. Yeah. The, the bully. It's the bad guy. The boogeyman. Um, like. Or, or, you know, it's even as simple as, oh, okay, well, Kate Middleton's got cancer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's that constant. Yeah. It's constant. It's constant. Bro. And then now you got all these people, oh, my God, the Duchess has got cancer. She's got cancer. Oh, my God. Yeah. Crying yeah. in front of Windsor. Like, yeah. or, you know, fucking, uh, or Buckinghamshire, wherever the fuck they're at. You know, like, it's, it's that despair, you know. And think about it like this. Let's talk about fucking modern day with, like, um, music. Yeah. Think about it. You know, country is sad as fuck. Yeah. Rap is violent as fuck. Yeah. Hardcore is violent as fuck. Yeah. Um, you know, you got the good ones just sprinkled in there. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. But drug abuse, fucking despair. Yeah. My girl left me. Yeah. You know, like, there is a constant feed Quarter, there's, it's coordinated yeah it's like too much of that yeah like here you go because like, overload like in our normal world shit's okay you yeah. know what i mean like our groups you know like we could work together we could vibe like yeah. we look out like and then you go outside like everything they're feeding us is negative yeah like, like, super it's never positive no it's never positive. No. You never see anything. Like, nowadays, you don't see even 
Like, I remember when I was a kid, you at least see commercials for, like, as much of a scam as I thought they were. But, like, <laughs> you would see the commercials for the Little Ethiopian Kids. Yeah. You would see the, you know, support a dog or, you know, uh, for 10 cents a day. Yeah. You, you know, like, that's some that's a sliver. Uh, as much as, as, as it is negative. Yeah. Like, it's, it's a sliver of positivity. Like, you can support this kid if that's the case. But now, there's just nothing. Like, it's like, it's nothing, bro. It's constant, constant. Like, if it ain't the news, it's the fucking, oh, man, the fucking, ah, dude, it's fucking had a fire at a job. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or, like, some dumb shit. Like, it's constant. Constant. That's why I'm like, I need a break, man. <laughs> yeah. I need a break. Sometimes I just try to. Um, but, like, you kind of get... You kind of you want to know like we we're always in the search for knowledge so yeah. we're just researching information coming, junkies you know yeah you, you know? know um which is hard you know but like having this platform to talk and get it out is is therapy too you know no it's, it really is man I yeah. can't tell you it's been a super long time so it's all been almost over a year since I've podcasted like actually put an episode yeah. out there's been times where we've done one and then it's like oh man the fucking system's fucked up or something yeah. crazy happened but just the whole time bro like um, and I was super adamant about getting you because yeah. you are fucking plugged in in the same areas everywhere. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And you bring such a positivity that when motherfuckers are listening, they're like, oh, that's, that's her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's like, go. Let's, let's fucking go. Oh, yeah. You know, and it, it, it raises the vibe. But the whole time that I hadn't been podcasting due to the, the crazy shit in life, it's just work, yeah. fucking kids. You know what it is. It's all the shit. Um, I just felt crazy i'm like dude i gotta get up and fucking talk to my friends like i have to (laughs) i gotta get this shit out (laughs) you just keep storing it and storing it right yeah Yeah. man it's 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 wild too because like that's what i kind of said when i feel like we missed some boats throughout the last year because there was some fucking crazy storylines that happened you know not don't get it twisted shit's even getting even crazier (laughs) now but you know, we had the what was it? The the fucking submarine that fucking went down. Didn't yeah, even talk about right. that shit. Yeah, didn't, talk about that. You know, like yeah. all kinds of wild, crazy shit that happened. But here we are now, and it feels just good to be able to yeah. fucking kick it. Hang. I'm pissed. I can't find my joint. Oh, shit's uh, gone. Nah, I might have dropped. Nah, it you had to drop that shit somewhere. I dropped it. Whatever, fuck it. Nah, that one's uh, that's that one ain't rolled. That's a little rolly. Yeah, I had a fat one rolled too. Don't want to fucking dry. Yeah, I could have hit something. That would have been hey, nice. Hey, Mike, I hit this. I, I got, I got this. the, I got the, the pen. The fuck is this? It's just a little fucking uh, a little, little vape vapor. Pen. Yeah. It's nice. I like it. Yeah, that's nice. What's up with your boy Diddy, man? Woo! Warriors. No Diddy. No Diddy. That's no, the funniest no part about Diddy, all no of that doubt. shit. Did you see that I fucking can't, college can't. student? That like, oh my god, it was the funniest shit in the world. They were like interviewing a college football player who was going into the draft. I think he was going into the draft, but they were comparing him to someone else. And he was like, yeah, but that's, but I'm like seven inches bigger. No Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So I'm like, oh no. I said, yo, this. That's the other thing about the internet, bro. They just don't Relentless. Stop. Really. <laughs> really. Undefeated. Forever. Relentless, bro. No, dude, he's in some fucking trouble. <laughs> like, he's in some trouble. And um, unfortunately, um, he's going to go down before any of the white people go down that were attached to fucking Epstein. It's so weird he's still out, bro. It's not, because... Uh. It, when you're looking at it in terms of like he hasn't been charged with anything yet, but the, like they, if they're raiding your crib like that, they have a case. Yeah. So they're talking to witnesses or people that might have because like the thing with the little the the I think it was his name Little Rod or something like that the, the producer yeah he yeah. was the, the latest one, um like he doesn't have a non disclosure or anything uh-huh. like that. 
So, like, when you look at it in terms of the Cassie situation, when he paid Cassie out real fast, you yeah. saw that. That was a blip yeah. in the news. Oh, Diddy yeah. fucking has a lawsuit. Settles $30 million. Boom. Get out of here. Shut up. You sign an NDA. You're going to sign to never talk about it again publicly, to defame Diddy, to, def- yeah. you know what I mean, bad boy, whatever, any defamation. They're not at that point yet. So the feds are like, no, we got to get in there. We got to get in there. We got to interview this guy. We got to interview this chick. We got to interview that. And then um, the sex trafficking shit is the biggest part. It's just like because that's like the most recent, yeah. you know. Um, the shit that he was doing is wild. Wild. Wild, bro. Like the shit that they alleged in, like even dudes like Cuba Gooden Jr., yeah. you know, um, it's scary, yeah. <laughs> you know. Like they were like, "Yo, bro, you got to get out of Diddy's house by like one one a.m." Yeah, everybody's talking about it now. Like everyone, uh, don't go there, bro. Everyone, <laughs> you want to go there? Like obviously, well, that's the cats that are like yeah. haven't sold themselves out. Well, that's the thing, though, is is like when you look at it and you say, "All right, well, Diddy was like this huge conglomerate in the industry, right?" Um, he had access to Hollywood. So he already had, and this is during the eighties and nineties. So it's like early, early, you know, early industry shit, like dirty, disgusting. You know what I mean? You had to literally do shit to be in the industry. No, before the woke shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And, um, to me, it's the craziest thing ever because I don't believe Diddy's gay. No, I believe it's a power thing. Yeah. It's like it's I'm like gonna fuck this dude. I'm just gonna fuck this dude. Oh, he wants a record deal? Yeah. Suck my dick. <clears throat> and and it's it's no different than Harvey Weinstein nah. with a female casting couch or yeah. no different than the Epstein shit. No it, these are these are predators. You know? And um he's got some demons, man. Yeah, that's why it's like you know, like, people worship these cats, and it's like, there's a whole nother reality people don't know. It's like, he's at award shows, he's at luncheons, he's at galas, he's at the opera, he's everywhere, rubbing elbows with everyone. 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 Presidents, Clinton, he's with... Obama, he's got to get out the vote, like, yeah. young people, around young people, like, none of y'all knew. And not only that, but you put people like Justin Bieber in his hands, you put, like, Usher, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, he had custody of Usher, bro, when Usher was a child. Usher would sleep with him in the bed. Like, that's weird shit. Weird. You know, weird, weird shit. Yeah. Like... It's, he's, yeah, he's plugged in, man. I, you know, it's, it's wild to me too. Cause I have a feeling Jay's going to get wrapped up in it somehow. They're, they're beating the drums. Yeah. They're beating, they're coming for Jay. Yeah, they are. I, I'm starting to hear it. Yeah, of course. Jay. You start to see the rumblings, yeah. you know. They're talking about um, him and Aaliyah. Aaliyah was young as shit. Young as fuck. Showing those pictures and shit. And uh, it's in that time, bro. It's like, that's what they did. Like, Russell Simmons, bro. Why, well, I think he's in Bali. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, like, ooh, out of country. Like, yeah, later. That was their Saw culture, it bro. That was it. That's what they did. It's like, there's a here Will Smith. Like, oh, listen, just, dude. There's, well, one of my favorite stories about this shit was, is like, uh, from the Wu-Tang. And it was like, I can't, re- I, forgive me if I get it fucked up, but it was either RZA or Ghostface telling a story, but he was like, oh, me and, like, we got invited to a Hollywood party, and it's like this huge mansion, whatever, hotel, who knows what it was, but they they get in there, and he's like, yo, we're like 30 deep, we had the hoods in the crib, you know, we're here, yeah. you know what I mean, and we ain't never been to no Hollywood party, like, nothing like that, and um, he's like, him and RZA, were, like, went off, and it was just like, oh, let's fucking, let's see what's going on, you know what I mean, and, like, they were opening rooms, and they, he was like, yo, listen, some of your favorite A-list stars, males, were in there fucking. 
Like, mm. and like he had to, I'll send you the, the, the link to it later, but just straight up, like, yeah, yeah. And he wouldn't drop names or nothing yeah. like that, you know, but he was like, needless to say, we never were invited back, you know? So, um, <laughs> yeah. Imagine, man. All those. Yeah. I mean, whole different world, bro. Whole different world, but that's that money scene again. It's a different it's reality. Like, what do you think about, like, the Satan worship behind all that shit? Like, the dude selling, like, I don't know if you've seen it recently, but I've been seeing a lot of videos of just sh- people talking about the Illuminati, man. Like, Cat yeah. did it. Like, Cat yeah. was like, you know, came out and talked some, talked some shit. Um, I just saw a video earlier where a dude from Imagine Dragons was saying he signed, like, a blood oath or yeah. some shit. Like, um... Then you see the shit with like Doja Cat and then like fucking all of these other people, Sexy Red, like every last one of them. Yeah, that's why I was trying to. I was wondering because Brian Garcia was talking about the boxer. And I'm yeah. Like, why would a boxer need to be put on? Yeah. I'm like, is it's money? <laughs> does that mean to get the fight or to even get? I don't know, to even get up to the status you want. It opens those doors. So you want that championship fight, bro? You want to be the champ? Mm. You want to be the champ of the world, bro? Yeah. We might just have Tank take a dive. Why not? Why not? He was a little dehydrated that day. You know, like, there's... it's It's to... You don't get to a certain level of superstardom without doing that shit. You know, yeah, yeah, like, I think the best example would probably be Rogan, who got, like, there without Hollywood, without the fucking, you know what I mean, yeah. without being plugged in. But even still, they went after him. They, you know, they went after his ass, like, you know, fuck it. We're going to try to get him canceled and shut the fuck down and everything else. But there's so many people. The Garcia thing was super interesting because <coughs> he Excuse said me. that they had brought him out to the woods of like Bohemia Grove or some shit yeah. and tried to make him watch kids get fucked. Out there? In the like woods? in the yeah. woods. You know, like he was like, that's he, that. And then he issued a response, I think, shortly after and was like, I'm just going to stick to boxing and. <laughs> Somebody, he got the call. He got the call. He got the call. Like, well, when you look at it, man, and you look at the Kanye situation, <clears throat> you ever heard of that dude Harley Patternack or Pasternak? Yeah, yeah. Right. So, like, he was Kanye's trainer, quote trainer, and the dude was ex Canadian CIA. Like, he did. Like, he's. Be, there's interviews of him talking about he actually worked on like mind control mind. like this trainer to the stars he's Jay-Z's trainer he's Pusha T's trainer he's this everyone he was Aaron yeah. Carter's trainer and before Aaron Carter yeah. OD'd in a bathtub you know or um, you know there's just countless other ones but the Ye situation was super interesting because Ye released the texts. I don't know if you saw those tech that text exchange, but there was a text exchange between Pasternak and Ye, and Pasternak basically put it to him and was like, "Look, we can have a conversation um, as long as everything that we talk about is rooted in reality, and you won't curse." And, and I'm kind of paraphrasing yeah. a little bit here, but um, and not like stupid shit you read on the internet or your friends told you, you know. And uh, Ye responds with something, and then Pasternak responds again and says, well, look, you know, or, or no, it was the first message. He was like, or we can, I'll have you drugged up again and institutionalized, and then said some shit like, playtime with the kids just wouldn't be the same. This is your personal trainer. Yeah. Yeah. Talking to you like that, I wish I had my phone because I'd be able to read it. And yeah. it's just like, Google that shit. Google the Harley Pasternak uh, fucking, you know, messages with Kanye. But um, it was basically him flexing on Ye. Like, bro, I'll, I'll yeah. just have you fucking drugged up again, Who made like you're crazy. You, bro? Yeah. But again, Handler. you're XCI, you're Hamlet. 
You're like a dude that they say, oh, you're a trainer. Yeah. Oh, you got to use him. He's great. Not only that, but they misdiagnosed you. Yeah. They fucking, you know, they were just like basically like feeding him pills. Yeah. Feeding him pills. And it's interesting because Chappelle left Hollywood when essentially they asked him to do something he wasn't willing to do. He never, he never dove into it, <clears throat> but he said that people would start like being around him, like his team, you know, the team, like, you know, these, you know, the publicists, the fucking, you're, you're huge now, you know, um, it would be like, oh, Dave, you're crazy. You're crazy, Dave. You know what I mean? Like they would be like telling him like in a real way, start, like, he's crazy. So like eventually he's like, whoa. You know what I mean? Now I'm starting to fucking feel crazy, yeah. you know, because Am I bugging out. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, and, but you being, there's just, they, they try to keep you where they want you, you know? Um, and he, he just didn't go for it, you know? But if you look at people like Britney Spears, <laughs> Britney's still fucked up, bro. Britney's all the way fucked up. I don't, <clears throat> I don't even know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> her videos, I'd be like, listen, to be like, leave her alone when she's having fun. I'm like, bro, the mental health. Listen, I encourage Brittany to do whatever the fuck she yeah. wants to do, but the mental health shit can't be ignored. No. Like, and you, there's there's a track a track record with child stars. <clears throat> the kid started off on Disney, you know what I mean, or yeah. before that, went up through Disney, then was this, you know. uh sex symbol and then it's all this other, yeah. other shit like when did they ever have time to be a real fucking person like yeah. just to be a just normal yeah can i just fucking chill bro like can i just have a fucking good time you know yeah but the show must go on britney's a machine she is so when you look at it you're almost expendable at a certain point because britney is the machine yeah you know so even <coughs> it's interesting because even throughout that conservatorship, she was doing she was doing a residency in fucking Vegas. Yeah, so she's still out there having to perform, <laughs> still performing, you know. Yeah, while dealing with all that. That's fucking wild, man. And I, I I saw some shit about Nickelodeon too coming down the pipe. I don't know what that's about. Bro, I, I watched it. it. Yeah, you did. You gotta watch it. So there, it's on Netflix. If you got Netflix, it's called Quiet on the weird shit that Dan Schneider who was like a showrunner he was like a writer or something like that on Nickelodeon and he created a bunch of shows like created the Amanda show he was like the writer for Keenan and Kel like okay. you know, he was like this, this all of that, all yeah of, he was plugged in, in there content from yo no bullshit yeah. he was like fucking Nickelodeon's golden golden boy right um he was like it, it was crazy because, like, what they would do, bro, is they'd put these kids in weirdo positions, right? So, like, the kid would get, like, squirted on the face, right, with something, you know, yogurt or something. But it would look like a cum shot. You know what I mean? It would yeah. be, like, framed like a cum shot. Like, the kid just got, like, sh weirdo shit like that. Yeah. Or, like, there was a young, a young black male that they... Um, Made him, he he was a rapper named Little Fetus or something oh, like that. What a fucking name. And he was in a fucking bodysuit or like a black, uh, not a, uh, like a brown bodysuit. You know what I mean? And it was like basically him exposed in this bodysuit rapping in this weirdo video. Like, it, yeah. For no reason whatsoever. <laughs> Yeah, just the skit, you know. And then there was another one where they made a kid dress up in this <laughs> same kid, but he was a superhero this time. But it, he resembled a giant black dick. Oh shit! Like the, just the, the pads yeah. on his shit, the fucking you know everything he they just... like enlarged his nose to look like a fucking dick, like all kinds of weird, crazy shit. Then there was shit with like Ariana Grande. Where like they were doing videos with Andy, Ariana Grande, and there would be like feet videos where she's like licking her own feet and fucking. Oh, really? Yeah, bro. Like weird, like crazy, like shit. almost creating pedo material. No, it really these, was. Yeah, like yeah. No, we, dude, you watch this fucking show, Herb, and you're gonna be disturbed. Nickelodeon, bro. Bro, 
like, and I'm like watching it. And I'm like, <clears throat> shut the fuck up. Like, you know, and now as an adult, like, you don't notice that shit as a kid. You wouldn't see it. We wouldn't see it. No. Watching it. Because right. Because we're not. One, we're yeah. not thinking about it. Right. And two, we're really not mentally like. We're but some to... dude, some weirdo predator. Older dude, yeah. Was fucking making these things. Like, bro, he would post feet pictures of his stars. Like, so, like, Ariana Grande, like, Amanda Bynes. Like, he fucked Amanda Bynes up. But, anyways, um, he, uh, like, would post their feet on Twitter, bro. Like, just fucking foot pics. That's weird. That's no other thing but no a other foot fetish. Th- no other thing but a foot fetish. Yeah. You know? So For other people. Constant shit. There was another one where, like, on the Amanda Bynes show, there was, like, her, one of her characters was named some Penelope Taint. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, just wild shit, That's bro. That's crazy. That's Creepy, weird shit. Woman. But it also gets into, I don't know if you ever saw this, this show, Drake and Josh. Yeah, 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 everybody yeah. has, you know, and uh, it details how he was molested and raped and fucking like all of this other shit. Nobody ever knew until he came out just recently. Also, there was other shit going on, too. So here's what's crazy. It's, it, in his situation, there was a production assistant. Right. And there was like, I guess when all the kids got to set, there'd be this guy that fucking he's the gay dude, clearly gay dude. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Excuse me. I'm fucking it up. My bad. That was a different scenario. The Drake one was a dialogue coach. No. So it was a gay dude. He was a gay dude that was a dialogue coach. He was well-respected in business. Everybody loved him. He was basically got Drake to fire his dad as his manager. You know, like kind of just like ingratiated himself into Drake's life. And, um... It wasn't until Drake got a girlfriend that he was, like, at his girlfriend's crib, right? And now his phone's blowing up. It's the dialogue coach. And um, essentially, he had molested him once before this. So, like, what happened was, was, like, or not once. It was, like, a multitude of shit. But, like, how Drake put it was the dialogue coach had him stay at his house. He'd be like, Drake, well, you live in Orange County. The rehearsal, or not the rehearsals, the... um auditions yeah. right he'd bring him to auditions and shit he's like the auditions are like over near my house why don't you stay at my house and you know you don't have to drive all the way from orange county your mom and got you know blah 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 blah. all the excuses well drake wakes up to the dude blowing him <laughs> right so yeah. now the kid's scared he don't know what the fuck to do you know what i mean this guy's telling him it's never gonna happen again he don't know what happened you know he don't know what you got into him you don't want to tell nobody that you don't want to tell nobody that shit you know what I mean? It happens the first time. Apparently, the abuse got, like, crazy, you know? Um, then after some time, he, Drake gets a girlfriend. He's starting to hang more at the girlfriend's crib than talking to the dialogue coach. And um, then he's, like, blowing him up at the fucking, at the, the girlfriend's crib. And, like, so he's, like, ignoring him, ignoring him, ignoring him. He starts calling the girlfriend's mom's crib, like the, his, her house yeah. phone. And the mom picks up. Or no, he picks up the first time. I was like, no, nah, you know, I don't want to do it. I don't want to go with you, blah, 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 whatever. Well, the mom was like, yo, some 50-year-old man doesn't call a fucking teenager like this. Like this. Yeah, crazy. You know what I mean? And then that's when it all started to come out. That the dude fucking raped him. Like, fucking, like, some real savage shit. Like, not even, like, just fucking gay yeah. sex. It's some, like, real scumbag, dirtbag, savage shit. And um, Drake Drake went to the, the authorities. Mm. Got the dude. Dude got fucking, like, 16 months, bro. Did he? Yeah. He's... And then came back and worked right back in Hollywood again. Stop. Yeah. Accepted him right back. Yeah, right back. But so that that was like the first season. Yeah. Was them like getting into all that shit. So that shit's deep. That runs deep. Oh, it's wild, bro. Damn, man. They got Nickelodeon too, man. Yeah. It's like I came up on that. And we all did. That's Everybody like, did. Yeah. Are all you all afraid did. of the dark? Yeah. Fucking all the good shit, yeah. you know? Um, but a lot of them very much so. Anything attached to that dude was really, really sexual. Damn, bro, that's crazy. 
It's like pro- programming too, bro. Programming. Oh, it's definitely programming. You know. Um, That's why they call it that, right? <laughs> but what's what's weird, bro, is is that like these fucking executives are like, go ahead, have at it. No big deal. It's like all the racism and all the fucking the uh, old like uh, old Disney movies. Yeah, you know, like they just put a caption in the front of it, like, "Oh, these don't reflect our views." <laughs> yeah, I, know. I know Disney, all the kid shit, bro. Yeah, go out there. Yeah, these yeah. pedophile pedophile fucks, man. Yeah, well, it's wild because like that shit carried over. To like you know like the iCarly's and shit like that. What was her What was her name? Um, Jeanette McCurdy, the one that played um, Sam, mm-hmm. came out wrote a book. Like I'm glad. I think it was titled "I'm Glad My Mother Died." I'm like yeah, because of like her mom was like like that, but got her into all that shit, and then Dan Snyder like fucked her up, you know. So Dan Snyder is he is he um, is he free still? Yeah, hell yeah. He's free. Yeah. I don't think he's ever had... I don't think... I don't think there was ever any accusations towards him. You know what I mean? It was just all of his... All of his shit. Like, it was all his writing. Like, you know... And then there was, like, abusive workplace shit. So, like, he would, like, ask chicks to fucking... Like, he would email a chick, right? Or someone, anyone in the office. And he would be like, yo, uh... Yell whore. Just stand up and scream whore. (laughs) So, yeah, so so some weird power shit. And then asking them, like, all the chicks for, like, back rubs. and Like, oh, I'm kind of sore. Can you rub my back? Bro, he made a chick, right? He made a girl. Fucking, like, and mind you, these were two interns, or not interns, two women that were sharing a salary. Like, they were splitting a salary just to have the job, you know? He made her, like, he was like, you know, how funny would it be if um, you bent over the table and pretended you were getting fucked from behind? And made the made the girl do it. What? In front of everyone. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, it's just sick shit, bro. That's why it's like, yeah, the, like you said, the executives are like, go ahead. I don't want to Fuck hear it. about it. Yeah, you're good. We're making money. Yeah, we're making money. As long as our sales are up, advertising's good. Making all the all no, the money. No protections, you know what I mean? For uh-huh. for these kids, for these kids' stars, like just push them out into the world. It's, it's, Listen, they fucked them up, bro. They f- yeah. They fucked them up. The one dude that they interviewed on Quiet on Set, it was the dude I was telling you about, like the superhero costume and shit like that. His mom made him quit. Like his mom was seeing this shit, yeah, like, and she was like, "Yo, that's fucking weird," you know, like, why, you know, like she didn't want, and he, like, he, it's fucked him up for the rest of his life, because it was like he, like, felt like his mom blew his opportunity. Yeah, that's from you, just being. You, you from, have to get down. So yeah, because they all go on to have success yeah. after Nickelodeon. Oh, for like, sure. It's almost like you paid your dues now. Yeah, here now, you go. Go see Harvey. Yeah, go see you know Harvey. I mean? it's, it's it's sick, man. It really is, you know. It's and and it, it. I was talking to somebody about it today. Is like how wild the character reference letters get. Like so, like in in the case of like the dialogue coach with Drake Bell, like um, there was like thousand letters, bro. This dude's convicted, like he is, or not, he is convicted. This is all before sentencing. Yeah. He's convicted of raping a minor. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? And there's like still all of these people that write these letters and say, yo, man, no, um, he was such a great guy. Like he's this. 16 months. That's, you know, this, no, it really was. Yeah. That's why I got 16 months. Yeah. You know, but there's like, it's not even just that, like the Danny Masterson shit. You know, Danny Masterson is, right? No. He was the dude in, uh, you ever seen that 70s show? Yeah, yeah. Right. So, like, what the dude with the fucking hair and the glasses, he was like kind of like the rock star kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. That's Danny Masterson. Okay. He got convicted of raping fucking, um, he's doing fucking like two life sentences or some shit right now. 
Word. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. He got fucking it, Scientology, tried to cover it up, yeah. but he raped a bunch of chicks. And um, Scientology tried to keep it in-house. That wasn't happening. Our, they our went to the feds. Yeah. They went to the feds, uh, or the victims went to the feds. And, uh, yeah, he got he got convicted. You know what I mean? But Ashton Kutcher, Myla Kunis, they all write letters to the judge seeking oh, leniency. Yeah. And it's just fucking bananas to me. Like, <clears throat> like bro. Ashton's best buds with Diddy. With Diddy. Yeah, which it, I didn't really know that. They were talking about fucking subpoenaing him. Like, like, Kush, like bring, bring Ashton's worried, yeah. Oh, it's crazy. They put judges in place. They do. It's their system, bro. Yeah. That's what's so hard about it. Uh, that's what's so frustrating, too. Is you see all these crimes and wickedness and nobody's paying for it. Yeah. But on our end, like it's like, you better follow the law. You better do this. You better do that. But like, yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's I think they set Diddy up, though. You know, in a sense, yeah. you know, because it's like, again, like I said earlier, this black man is going to see some sort of repercussion before anybody that's on the Epstein client list. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's fucking crazy to me. So the white man's doing it, saying it again. Yeah. You know, you know, we let you get here. <clears throat> now we got to remove you. You know too much. bro. You got to go. You got to go. I mean, even Hunter Biden, bro. He puffed before this cat. Yeah. Are they get, didn't they just get him for tax evasion or some shit? They got him, but they, I mean, but they ain't getting him. They ain't getting him. They ain't yeah. fucking getting him, They're dude. Chilling. He should be under the shit already. That's fucking insane. Under the jail, bro. It's oh, just, listen, the Ukraine shit right yeah. before fucking the war, bro. Like, Burisma, all this other all shit. That, like, bro. it's incredible to me. It's like. But it's the, the, everyone's corrupted, so it's like somebody's got something on everybody. So it's yeah. like you better do this, or you know, that that's exactly what it is. Like, and that's why I think there's such a lack of public support for for Diddy, you know, because like motherfuckers are just like, oh, this dude <laughs> fucking knows too much. Yeah, yeah, bro. They, they're like, yeah. All right, who's next? Who do we got? <laughs> Listen, yeah. I think it's going to be in jail. Wrap for him, it's a wrap for yeah. him. Public life is just not going to yeah, be it anymore. Not the same. I just asked, I just asked uh, somebody, you know, can we still listen to Diddy music? Or are we? is it R. Kelly territory? Dude, it's... Yeah. Well, so the one good thing about Diddy was is that a lot of his shit was like feature shit. So like, <laughs> like he's got albums. <laughs> yeah. They, well, they're, they're not very good. Yeah. But all of his other shit, you know. Yeah. But listen, it it really speaks a bigger question than that, though. Fucking Biggie. You know what I mean? Yeah. The locks. Yeah. Like, all of these people. Like, is that why the locks wouldn't let, get let go? You know, yeah. that was like the free the locks movement because they the wouldn't locks. do no gay shit. Like, yeah. you know, um, all of them. Craig Mack. There was like. I just hated them, bro. Like, all of, all of my favorite artists, bro, never could come out with music. Yeah. Carl Thomas, Faith, none of them. Yeah. He had the roster, but they put out one one album, bro, and that's it. Yeah. And he's like, yo, you're on ice. Yeah. For, I don't know why. Like, cats are well, because number one charts. Like, I think he, in, in, if the Mace situation with like the Masters and all that yeah. shit is any indication, homie was probably taking their best work. You know, faith, I'll be missing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <clears throat> I own the rights to that. You know? So it's like, oh, they, yeah. you take their best work, you take Biggie's only work, yeah. and you own all the rights to it. And you own the rights. And yeah. then it's like, you can't, you're not allowing the artist to make enough money. Because think about it, the advance, right off yeah. the rip. Oh, we're going to sign. Yeah, sign a dotted line. We're about to yeah. advance you a mill. Boom. You get that milli. But then you don't understand that, like, all of the fucking shit that's going to come out of that million. Like, you have to pay back all the studio time, all, all the travel yeah. expenses. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? You got to pay for the publishing, the, 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 the mixing, like, 
the producers you got to pay and then there's Trips. then then you sampled this song and then yeah. you did this and then you did that so we got to pay all that back so by the time you owe that money yeah so you're working you got a million but yeah. you owe about 2.5 back so you got to do numbers i was watching that Craig Mack shit that he was talking about the next album he was doing and then he's like all right i'm going to give you bread and he's like Rocking out tracks and shit, and no money's coming. He hit Puff like, "Yo, what's up with the bread?" It's like, "I got you. You need to record." He's like, "I need money." Yeah. He's like, "No, you fucking record." Craig's like, "Yo, I packed it up, bro. Like, yeah. fuck out of here. And I need to record. I don't gotta record shit." Wow. But he owned those rights. He owned it all. What are you coming out with? Nothing. I'm gonna call every record exec in the business. You're blackballed. Yeah. Like, you know what well, I mean? Well, it's not, you're not even blackballed. You yeah. owe me three albums. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you are under contract. Yeah. yeah. So, unless some other big fucking superstar producer no, of the day out. is going to buy you out, then you're fucked. You're, you owe me these three albums, or you, or, you know, and that's what I think that's why a lot of the shit with Mace went down was because Mace. That was murder, Mace. Yeah, don't get it fucked up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he said it. Did he name me pretty? Did it for the money? <laughs> you know <laughs> what I mean? Like he wanted the masters. He wanted what he felt like he was entitled. Yeah. Like he, you know, he wasn't getting any money from fucking uh-huh. what was it? Mo money, mo problems. Uh-huh. He wasn't getting any money from Harlem World. Like uh-huh. what the fuck? You know? And did he? Being this guy who's about the culture enslaved all of these artists. You know? And there was another one, was it like Danny D. Kane, I think Danny it was. King, yeah. She came out and was saying, like, Steve was like, oh, Puff said he would give me my master's if I sign this NDA. Oh, he wanted the NDA. Well, of course, yeah. Oh, yeah. No defamation, yeah. you know? Yeah. But it's, again, what the fuck? Like, I got to make this agreement to get what's mine. To get what's mine. That shit's just so shady. Such a shady business, bro. Oh, it's over with, though, yeah. now. Yeah, it is over. It, it's it's over definitely with. over. Without flagship artists like Drake yeah. and fucking, you know, yeah. like fucking Taylor Swift, bro, yeah. like that, industry would be dead. Yeah. Everything's well, independent now. Especially now, yeah. yeah. Those cats didn't have the platforms out. That's out now. No, to no, just be no. Like, Fuck it, I'll just go do my own shit. Yeah, it was still in the early days. Yeah, yeah. like those. Like, I think the only reason Drake is even like to a label, you know, or like a distribute, however he does it, yeah. you know. Um, I know they gave that motherfucker like six hundred million dollars, <coughs> you know, and was like, here's six hundred mil, you know. So he's doing something with them. Take? Once, I, yeah, I knew Drake was gonna be big once he took the is it the Bilderberg owl yeah it's the Bilderberg no well it's the bo- it's the Bohemian, Bohemian Grove. Grove owl it's Moloch yeah. yeah yeah so once I saw him logo that up I'm like oh he's it's over. he's top yeah he's top of the game yeah like I know, and has been that's I mean that's higher level shit yeah and like he just jumped you know I don't know if his mom had connections whoever but yeah they co-signed him yeah it? somebody's yeah. he yeah he turned early like, it was early for him because he was with the, what, the Degrassi and all yeah. that shit first, kind of yeah. getting a buzz. And then next thing you know, he's a fucking literal international superstar. Yeah. Um, I do like that my man Kendrick just fucking shots fired. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that shit's hot, bro. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, that man. Shit's hot. Oh, it's, no, that shit's hot. It's J. Cole just issued a response, but I felt like it could have been better. Cole's nasty. Yeah, man. yeah, I know, I know, I know. You um, you heard? I didn't hear Cole's. It's, yeah, it's uh, he dropped the uh, what was it? I think it was a like a surprise album, bro. And it was like might delete later or something like that. Okay, is what it's called. Um, but he's got like a seven. It's called Seven Minute Drill, I think, and it's his response to Kendrick's like that verse. So, so you know what happened? Anything like what sparked this off? Because they were so, supposed to do the album together. Um, all right. So if you if if you ask Kendrick, there's a lot of sneak dissing, right? So like, and 
I went back and listened to a couple of the songs, and there's just like certain shit. You know what I mean? That like it's Cole or Drake will be dry, like will say, and it's like so like something about big steppers, right? Yeah. Like did like Cole said something about some shit, like oh if you're the big stepper, well I'm the landmine. Yeah. Kendrick's last album was Mr. Morale and the big big steppers. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like there's these little back and forths, yeah. and then fucking like K Dot don't play that shit. Yeah. And he was like, no. Fuck you. He mentioned first person shooter. He mentioned for all the dogs. He fucking <laughs> just went. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he went fucking ham, bro. He went ham, bro. And uh, it was a. <laughs> I really liked the verse. Like that shit was so good. That and good. Uh, but Cole's response could have just been so much better. Like I just I don't know. I feel like he's pussyfooting. Like he he might have rushed it too. Just yeah. Just, you just to I mean? just to get it out there, because he's not he's nasty, no doubt about that. But but if I was Drake, Kendrick, and fucking J Cole, if I was, I'd shoot these dudes a text and be like, "Yo, uh, I'm about to send this diss track out at you." Okay, <laughs> and and think about the streams and just yeah, and everybody's just, fucking streaming. And just every rocket, yeah. <laughs> Let's go just make this bread. It. Um, I don't know if Drake responded. I didn't hear anything. He didn't. No, nah, he didn't. No. I don't think he wants any. any uh, not a K dot. No, no way. No. He'll let J. Cole yeah. do, do all that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think. I think he'll do like subtle shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, subtle. He'll, yeah. You know, like you'll see reels. You know, it was weird yeah. because there was like a reel of him at a concert and he was like shooting shots at a Travis Scott like fucking face. Yeah. You know? Um, He'll do shit like that, but he's. Yeah. If he puts something on fucking paper and then on a track on Kendrick, bro, stop. Listen, you woke Kendrick up. Yeah, he came out so raw, bro. That shit is it. He said, I I got, what do you say? You think I won't drop the location? I still got PTSD. <laughs> stop it. Yeah, yeah, it was good. I thought, yeah. <clears throat> but again, when you look at it, it's like, is it competitive rap or is it fucking. Again, you look at these fan bases. You have three cult followings. Like, well, and that's the whole thing too, because the buzz about it is everywhere. It pull away, you know. It's yeah, like, and you got everybody all over Twitter. Yeah, this yeah, one was yeah. better. That one was better. You know, like. Yeah, and I'm like, I listen to it, but I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm not like, whatever. I want to see what's up with it, though. But I'm well, like, damn, what happened? <clears throat> yeah, for me, it's like I want to know what happened. Like, yeah. Because they were, like, especially with Kendrick and Cole, because they were kind of tight. Kendrick and Drake have had their, like, squabbles yeah. in the past. Yeah, I don't know. I think Cole and Drake did something together, yeah. right? Hell yeah. Recently. So, uh, it was, yeah, it was like, a while back, but yeah, they did something. Yeah, they yeah. did, like, a whole album together. Really? I didn't know that shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a, it might be like six, seven songs that they did oh, together. Kendrick's like, "Oh, you dropped it with him first, bro." Okay. Well, no, <laughs> like that's what's crazy about it is, is like Kendrick's and Cole's album was like, if I had to guess, bro, like five years ago, six years yeah. ago, yeah, yeah. So it was a while ago. Why Cole and Drake are kind of teaming up, and I don't know if you heard. Did you hear First Person Shooter? No. Oh my god, dude, it's so good. Like, so it's it's. It's basically Drake and J. Cole <laughs> going back and forth, but it's like he mentions K Dot. So he's like he's like, uh, uh, what the fuck did he say? Oh, is that the big three reference? Yeah, that's shit? the big three for he's like, Oh, is it who's the who's the greatest? Is it K Dot? Is it Aubrey? Is it me? He's like, we're like the big three, like we started a league. Yeah. You know, but right now I feel like Muhammad Ali. Yeah. And that's when K Dot was like, Fuck the big three. It's just me. <laughs> You know what I mean? So yeah, bro. You said Muhammad Ali. He's the greatest. Yeah. And then, well, not only that, but he, like there was another reference, like Drake made in that song where he was like, he's like, oh, I'm one away from Mike Jack. You know what I mean, or yeah. something like that. And uh, K Dot was like, well, Prince outlived Mike Jack. <laughs> like just like, you know, they him and what was it, Twenty One Savage and Drake put out. For all you, for all you dogs, mm -hmm. and that was like the fucking that was the reference for all you dogs. I'm bringing all the K's. It's gonna be Pet Cemetery. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you yeah. stop it, Kendrick. Yeah. Kendrick's too good, man. Yeah. <laughs> and Cole's great. Like Cole yeah. is fucking ugh, disgusting. So I'd love to see something happen between those two. 
<laughs> At least a little competitive. Yeah. Rap. I don't want to say no crazy yeah, shit. No crazy. Yeah. I don't think it'd come to that. But. Nah, you're two yeah. of the greatest, bro. You yeah. got to push each other. And rap is shit right now. It is shit. I don't right. even, I haven't even been listening to anything. No, nah, dude. It's I'm been a, so I'm trash. Old school I think I tuned dude. out. Yeah. Of all that new stuff. Yeah, it's no good. No. It's Nothing crazy, is. bro. Yeah, it's crazy. It's all politically motivated. Super all... low vibrational shit. Bro. Like, damn, I don't feel right. <laughs> well, that was... that trash. Listen, there's a... That, that's... It's all part of it, man. There's... This is the fucked up part about the Diddy shit, too. And, like, the shit like Jay-Z and... These guys are invited to the room. Like, these guys are invited to keep churching up the drugs, the violence, the yeah. fucking gang shit, the fucking... The beef. Yeah. Keep drumming it up. You know, the old block shit. Yeah. The fucking... <laughs> yeah. We want more of that. No, they That's really do. That's great. Yes. Yeah. They really do. And it's uh, it's fucked up, man, because some of these artists sell out and say, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Why not? I'll take a couple, man. I'll take, I'll take the sneaker deal. I'll yeah. Take, what, what do you need? Yeah. I'll take all that. And these kids, kids in the hood, eat it up. Bro. Eat it right up. They're bro. just like, yo. It's just like, yo, like. Like, like somebody's getting popped in Albany like every week, bro. I know. I just don't even think there's that many people to get popped. I don't you know, know what I'm saying? It's like it's all kids, though. It's kids, bro. They're just like it's kids. It, it, I mean, you're walking around all day, like yo. Know, I'll take a motherfucker's cap off. You know, I'll shoot him in the face. Like, let me take some pills and some lean. You know, some fucking e or whatever. It's just, yeah, you're walking around angry, bro. Yeah. Ready, and ready to shoot. Really angry. Yeah. And for no reason. You know, I heard a good analogy the other day. It was like, baby. Point, they were a six-month-old baby and they were innocent. Mm-hmm. Life turned them into turns this. Them, turns them into it. You know what yeah. I mean? Whether it be the situation at home, the situation in the streets. The, something happened that made you this way, yeah. you know? Yeah. And, it sucks, man. I know. I remember, like, <clears throat> like for a few years, downtown, uptown beef, like, they rounded up probably, like, 100 cats downtown, right? 100 cats uptown. Then, like, three years later, like, 100 cats uptown, 100 cats downtown, like, a lot of them were like the OGs, though. Yeah, like the originals. Yeah, like still had the, um, still had the respect. Moms on the block, like watch your yeah, mouth sure. and shit. Like they took all of those cats off, who were also a lot of these younger cats' fathers. Yeah, sent them all away, locked up, locked up. So that was like, that was hella dads, bro. They just took right out in the picture. Rico and all that shit with the uptown downtown beef in Albany. And and now you see you see that result like yeah. it's wild and a lot of lost yeah a lot of lost human beings man. yeah bro like dad shipped away but you feed that prison system too you know what I mean like these young cats are just yeah. they're coming to see their dads basically yeah. like, and some of them actually see the pen with them yeah you it's, know and it's it's fucked up man because like there's so many kids have so much to offer yeah especially in. Those low income communities, you know, it's it like it's true. Bro. You got to give them a fucking chance, bro. A chance, man. Like they don't really got no chance, man. Like they're running, they're the OGs now, but they never even had an OG to teach them. Yeah, so you now see? it's the way of what I, it's the fucking it's that, live by the gun, die by down, the gun, bro. Like they're listening to these rappers and all of that, and uh, that's just how it. It all works together, you know what I mean? Going from the executives to Diddy down to, you know. Oh, down to the, yeah, yeah right down to the, the content, down to the, the actual hood. content. Yeah, to the content. So it's like, it just, it's it's like, yo, what's the fucking setup, bro? We're set up. Um, that's why I'm, I think I'm struggling with, like, what to do because there's so much to do, bro. It's just like. And where do know. you start? Yeah, it's like, is this going to make an impact or is that going to. It's like, yeah, but I think just in, in your journey alone, like, and I can only speak for myself and, uh, like, our team and everything, yeah. but and what I've seen you do, but you've impacted, like, in those communities, you've done work 
that have even if it impacted someone on an individual basis you know what i mean you've touched a thousand people that you know you've got to have words with a conversation with you know just hey hey man you know we got this going on what was the blueberry orchard that that like that whole shit going on um like that is the where you start yeah It, it, it sucks because you can't unless you're an influencer bro you really can't get a lot of people to think the same way no per se you know what i mean yeah so but individually yeah that's been my approach too because it used to be like even like on the real estate shit like no no insanity like you know if it's one kid or whatever that's cool with me no you it know, is gonna be yeah you know, i'm gonna be masses of people or whatever but, but not only that but you do shit in subtle ways too yeah. just like i do it's like yeah. the little shit you know what i mean yeah. it's the the little help this person out the old person out right here real yeah. fast or you know yeah. what i mean like yeah, the, that's true you know there's those are little acts of kindness man that fucking you leave an impression on somebody and it's a positive one and yeah. it's a you know, and hopefully they'll go and push that positivity forward. That's true. Know? Yeah. And not like fucking McDonald's where somebody fucking <laughs> pays for your fucking shit meal yeah. and fucking. No, you get out there and fucking touch people, man. Yeah, that's real shit. That's that's a good good way to look at it. Well, I'll definitely take that, man. Yeah. Listen, yeah. it's. You have to. It's, it's unfortunate, man, because like you said, there's a lot of people that aren't you said it earlier in the podcast where like they're just not there yet. No, they're, they're just not, ready. not there. They're not ready. They're not ready to be helped. Yeah. They're not ready to see things openly. They're not ready to open their mind. And, um, you get stuck in that tunnel vision. Yeah. And it's just like this narrow fucking one way fucking street. No, bro. Some people just don't ever register. Like not, uh, one of my boys is, Fucking does the suboxone drips every day and shit. Um, heroin and whatnot. Just like showed up to my crib, like cutting my grass and shit. Like, yo, you owe me 50 bucks. Oh, <laughs> I'm, like, fuck. I'm like, one. Bro, I just cut don't the grass. Come, don't come on my fucking property. I already yeah. told you that. Two, I don't want you to cut my fucking grass or ask you to cut my grass. You know what I'm saying? But like That's the best. His brother OD last year, bro. So it's like I told him, bro, like, bro, you're gonna die, bro. But Some, he's just like he's just there, bro. And it's just like that's some of the shit that's out here. It's just like no matter what, some people are just just are gonna be lost. Bro. No, they're gonna be lost and, and unfortunately we know a, a few people that don't want to be helped and don't want to get away from that lifestyle you know and i get it i understand i don't necessarily agree with that it's a disease yeah you know but at the same time i do uh, agree with what it does to a person you know with the the you know the fucking the straight addiction of it you know the whatever but at the same time what are you doing to get out of it you know, and if if I can't help you get out of it, I gotta, I gotta fucking, you know what I mean? Yeah, I gotta step away. You can't be, yeah, you can't just be there like that. And that's how that's how I feel now, man. Like, I don't. That's your life, bro. I'm not judging you. Like, people go through shit or whatever, but I can't fuck with it. You know what I mean? Well, no, I especially yeah. when you have two young men to raise. Yeah, no, nah, man. You know, yeah, so it's like when you, when you look at it like that, is I can't have that fucking example. Nah, hell no. That's you what know? I'm like, bro. Or people you associate with, you know what I mean? Maybe you owe somebody. They come to the crib like because you're there. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. now I got a whole another situation. But it's like that's the that's the cut, bro. It's like we got like people like our clique. We vibe. We do our things. We out there working. We're positive. Like, yeah. Together, like. I want more of that in my life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Opposed to this other shit. Like, like the nonsense, the everyday bullshit. Like, I just want... Oh, well, we got to break it up, bro. Yeah, because look at our world, bro. We need real connections, bro. Yeah. Um, people that that can do things, can build. Like, we all have valuable skills, man. That's why I just love our clique, man. And oh, it's, We vibe it's... and the energy's positive. We're uplifting. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
it just it just rocks, bro. But no, I want I want so more cool. of that in my life. I I absolutely adore our team. Like we have such a good fucking base of cats, man. That we're all trying to be entrepreneurs. We're mm-hmm. all trying to build each other up, and we're all trying to move forward. Yeah. And we all like to have fucking fun. We like we <laughs> yeah. want to fucking chill and enjoy each other's time, you know, and fucking spades or you know stupid shit. Or, Break bread. Yeah, like we're uh drink was, Bud Light. <laughs> while, while, I know. <laughs> while I got you though, uh, we're trying to do the Tyson or not? Uh, yeah, Tyson. Tyson. Fury. Well, we're gonna do the Tyson Jake Paul fight. Too, okay, but the Tyson Fury. And Usyk fight, I think, is first. I think that's coming up soon. I have to ask Chap, but yeah. we're trying to get up. It's a, if you want to come up, we're going to go to his crib. Yeah. Do food, watch yeah, the fight. Yeah, man. Shit. Yeah, it's so, been a while, too. It's been guess, a while since I got out. That's what I mean. Just yeah. come come up, hang, man. Yeah, that I'm shit's gonna, always fun. A good time. I'm going to invite a bunch of people and hopefully not pass out in front of them again. <laughs> I think that's the last time. <laughs> yeah, fucking bet. <laughs> fucking end the. Fucking Ed ends the entire party. Fucking nah, passes nah. out, hits his head. Wild. Um. Yeah. A little throw out. Just like everybody's like, we thought we lost our friend. Bro, <laughs> this, listen. This party is over. I don't. Yeah. I felt like. Well, what was crazy was it's like I put the whole fucking thing together. You like, did. I got everybody. Yo, that was probably the best showing of all of our friends like everyone was there like there everybody was, there, we weren't missing anyone and <laughs> i fucking get dehydrated from me me and chap were cooking all night and like getting the food yeah we we're just making the party right and i'm fucking sitting there bro and i just i don't know what happened i started to feel lightheaded i see a can of soda roll on the floor i try to pick the can of soda up and i'm waking up <laughs> Gone, bro. Like what Gone. the fuck just happened? Oh man, I know. I'm just like, I just got my drink right, about to, about to light Ruined it up. <laughs> Ruined foods, it. foods on the stove, about to get served. Birthday cake and shit. Like, yeah, that was wild, bro. I know. Jr. Uh, brought all those pies. Yeah, like, he went to go get all the pies and shit. Yeah, like, it was wild. It was dude. totally it was friendsgiving. Yeah, friendsgiving. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was fucking friends giving, bro. Yeah, yeah, you know, and we thought we gave her. <laughs> yeah, gave, we thought we gave you up. <laughs> hey, what a way to go! It was crazy. Whole demeanor change, bro. Everybody, ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, everybody. Of course, bro. Just, yeah. Well, that's what was crazy. It was like I didn't. Obviously, <laughs> I was just dehydrated, so I was like, and then I ended up getting COVID shortly after. You remember? did too. You did. So I was down for like two weeks, like, uh, and my melon hurt. Like, that shit fucking sucked. <laughs> fucking blew. But let's do it again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know let's, what I mean? Let's do it again. That's right. So I'll talk to Chap and I'll see what's good. Um, I know Johnny and them, Kenny and all them dudes are down. Um, Hell yeah, man. Let's get it together, bro. Hell yeah. yeah. That's, I'm with it. I'm with it. Yeah. So, what do you think of the studio, though? This Studio's is, dope, man. This is the first. This yeah. is gonna be the first podcast out in the new studio. Yeah. This is this is a dope spot, man. Right. Yeah. Really dope. That's what I mean, dude. I, I I'm fucking pumped. We got a little bit of more decorating to do in here and shit. Like, I want to get some shit up on the walls and. Yeah. There's gonna be a TV right here. Boom. So we can you get a TV there. Yeah. Just so that way we can like so when because eventually Kenny's gonna get on the fucking boards. And, okay. And uh, he'll be feeding us some information up there. Oh, nice. So research and shit. Yeah. So yeah. like when we're talking about certain shit, you know, know what I mean? The I was trying to do it tonight when I was like, it's hard to. Do it so hard when yeah. my fucking phone is way over there. Yeah. Like if I have my phone and I can't do it fast enough, I'm like, yeah. what? Yeah. No. But going forward, like I'll have like certain topics to have them. Like, yeah, these are what we're going to go for. So we'll dial those up a little bit. But um. Yeah, I'm pumped, man. I'm fucking super happy you came out. No, nah, man. I was like, I'm fucking going. We've been trying to do it last For a couple while. of weeks. Yeah. yeah. Like, no, nah, I'm I'm there. I'm there. I need to. Bro, well, that's what was crazy. It was like, I'm, I'm like, you know, my kid's like, wait, you just got out of work, but you're going to podcast? And I was like, dude, yeah, I want to do it that bad. And I was like, I'm really hoping... <laughs> 
that are have texted me back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it says, let's fucking let's get down go. there and do it. I know. I was like, damn, these kids wore me out today. I'm like, nah, I'm going. Fuck that. No, I'm glad you let's did, go. man. Let's it go. Was, it was super fun, dude. And we'll, we'll wrap it up now. I think we're running out of battery here. But um, it was super fun. Yeah, Thanks man. for coming through, man. I'm super pumped to get fucking the Nonsensical Knowledge Podcast back on track. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button. Share the shit out of it. Don't make me come find you. I'll um, find your ass. Fucking A. And uh, yeah, thanks so much, bro. I love you. It's love always a too, pleasure, man. man. Peace out. Later.